I feel pretty depressed at the situation to which we find ourselves in economically. For the past three or four years, I've been asking witnesses when they come before the committee, where is the risk? Because we knew that risk was being offloaded. And the glib answer given to us was that don't worry about risk, Mr McFall, because we're in a new environment where the banks parcel up and slice and dice the risk and put it off their books. And that means that the financial system is now able to withstand shocks which it wasn't able to withstand before. That's been proved to be absolute nonsense. Britannian parlamentin alahuoneen talousvaliokuntaa johtava McFall oli pelkoinen valitettavan oikeassa. EU-maista, juuri Iso-Britannia, on kohdannut maailmanlaajuisen talouskriisin seuraukset kaikkein rankimmalla tavalla. We had a housing bubble in the UK, similar to the US, similar to Spain, which meant prices for, asset, for housing, for assets, and the housing market just exploded. This was going on for the last 10 years almost. If you have a constrained supply, we always sell houses to each other. So prices go up, up and up. We always feel we're getting richer and richer. But in fact, we don't because we just sell to each other. And it's a bit like the last one bites the dust. It's a bit of a Ponzi scheme. The last one has to pay the price. Yhdysvaltain tapaan myös Britanniassa pankit lainasivat kasvuvuosina rahaa sen kummemmin takauksia kyselemättä. Ajatuksena oli, että joku maksaa tappiot kuitenkin. Young people are being encouraged to take on lots of money without any thought as to what's going on. My own daughter of 24 was encouraged to take out a mortgage at seven times her salary and it was only on her second job. And she said, wasn't that a good thing? And I said, no, it wasn't. But everybody wanted, you know, everybody wanted people to borrow. Also, a lot of financial staff in the banks were incentivized to keep selling and bring in more money regardless of the consequences. Viime syksynä porttitalo alkoi kaatua. Asuntolainoihin erikoistunut Northern Rock pankki romahti ja ajautui valtion haltuun. Britanniassa nähtiin ilmiö, jollaisia on koettu lähinnä Itä-Euroopassa. The scenes in this country when people were taking money out of Northern Rock is something that will not be forgotten by a generation. They did not believe the bank and they wanted their money. Tänä syksynä täyteen vauhtiin päässyt talouskriisi on tehnyt brittipankeissa pahaa jälkeä. Britannian hallitus on käytännössä sosialisoinut useita vaikeuksiin joutuneita suurpankkeja. Pelastusoperaation on uponut miljardeja veronmaksajien rahaa. People will say, look, this is our taxpayers' money that's being used, and it's not being used in the best way. I would compare banks to the blood in the body. The banks are the blood going through the economic system in the country, and if anything happens to that, there is a thrombosis, and that has severe uh, and fatal implications for jobs and for prosperity and for people's homes. So we must ensure that that money goes into the system. Rahaa on pankkijärjestelmään pumpattu, mutta silti ollaan tilanteessa, että maailman finanssikeskuksiin kuuluvassa Lontoon Cityssä ei juuri hymyillä kuin ehkä väkinäisesti. people I talk to who think about those unemployed financiers and bankers and so on, there's very little sympathy for them. 
because it's felt that they were in their own experiencing circumstances of their own making, making, you know, conditions of their own greed. Um, and so I think that there's there's limited amount of sympathy in the society as a whole. Tavallisen brittiveronmaksajan mahdollisesti tuntema vahingonilo ei kuitenkaan pitkään lämmitä. Pankkimaailman kriisi kun tuntuu välittömästi niin sanotussa reaalitaloudessa. Hallituspuolueen talousekspertti näkee edessä isoja ja vielä suurempia haasteita. There are suggestions that we could have 2 million unemployed in the UK by Christmas. We've also seen home repossessions go up quite substantially in the United Kingdom. And I want to ensure that the government provides a fiscal stimulus to ensure that the issue of jobs is tackled so that we keep people in jobs, but also doing something in the mortgage front to ensure that we do not see people put out of their homes. Mutta todellisuus ei välttämättä ole hallituksen toiveiden mukainen. Veronmaksajien rahoittamat pankit eivät tunnu olevan kovin halukkaita neuvottelemaan omien velallistensa kanssa ongelmien järjestelyistä. Asunto-ongelmaisia auttavan shelter-järjestön asiakaskunta on kasvanut nopeasti. That next year that figure will rise even further, um, and we would very much like to avoid that situation. But worst case scenario is unemployment goes up very dramatically, repossessions go up very dramatically, and there are many, many tens of thousands more people in desperate housing circumstances who are potentially threatened with homelessness. That we are at the point where we lose money on food. You, you, you know what I'm saying. You can't just well with alcohol you. It's a little bit easier, but with, with, it's always difficult with food. So, um, but def, definitely, trade's gone down, and I'm, I'm obviously worried. You know, Mike Bell on pitänyt pubia Lontoossa ja yli 20 vuotta, mutta tämä talouskriisi näkyy yrittäjän arjessa selvemmin kuin aiemmat notkahdukset. Yrittäjällä on pankkien kanssa hankalaa, mutta niin on asiakaskunnallakin. Round here, the number of flats that have come on the market in the last two months apparently, uh, at something like three to six thousand pounds a week, you know, all these big bankers' flats in, in, in Holland Park, uh, uh, and, and there's a whole load of people that have, that, are, that have suddenly their income's gone, you know, they're walking dogs, they're uh, maybe doing flower arranging, they're doing all, the, you know, there's all this sort of thing going on, so at every level. But some parts of the country are really, really suffering, and I think it will get much worse. Vähittäiskaupan myynti on laskenut Britanniassa roimasti kautta linjan. Tästä huolimatta tai oikeastaan sen takia joulumyyntiä käydään Lontoon kauppakaduilla lähes vimmaisesti, ja jouluikkunat on rakennettu taas entistä aikaisemmin. Well, I think there's two things going on. The retailers are thinking, buy now. Buy now, burn as soon as you can before the, you know, to get their sale, to desperately try to generate business, which is there, absolutely. Um, but uh, I think there's something else going on as well, which is, is something like, well, you know, let's buy now quickly because we don't know what's coming next. Now, living in the moment of today becomes more urgent than thinking about the future.